My name is Tom Nichols, and uh, I stand here in support and partnership of the Contra Costa School Board of Santa Rosa. I work with TSMC as the back office provider, and we will work with uh, Mr. Lucchetti in the development of all the financial aspects of the projection uh, for the charter petition. Um, TSMC was founded in 2001. We are the largest provider of back office support for charter schools in North California and across the country. Uh, we currently work with over 100 charter schools throughout the state of California, and we also work with approximately another 100 charter schools in 10 other states. We're well established throughout the county, and we work with uh, clients and charter schools that are authorized by local school districts, county offices of education like yourself, uh, as well as the state board of education. Um, again, uh, we provide all back office financial support, so not only do we do uh, budget development, provide all the financial documents, we work with compliance, payroll, retirement, benefits administration, Cal tax reports, etc. One of the nice, uh, one of the nice um, services that we provide uh, is we're very involved with charter school planning board and enrollment. And one of the things that we offer is Charter Vision, which is an online and real time portal, uh, unlike anything uh, else in the industry, where any stakeholders, whether it's an executive director, school site principal, governing board. And see in real time actual financials from top line financial statements down to the level of detail that we go over. Um, this is an exciting uh, new development that we offer. We're currently working with uh, district school, uh, excuse me, district authorizers and county offices um, to provide them access uh, to this uh, to this tool. Uh, be happy to answer your questions if anyone has any additional charter questions. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Um, Nichols, in terms of back office support for charter school, with this particular proposal, how, how long do you anticipate having uh, offering this back office support? Is this duration of the charter school from one month, six months, a year? Yeah, thank you for the question. We, we work with charter school partners as long as they want. Typically, we work with them through the budget, uh, through the charter development process. Uh, and then once the schools become operational, most of our clients um, that we work with now across the country, we have contracts lasting from a year to two where we don't even need to perform performance and, and budget plans. If I may just very briefly address your cash flow question, sure. uh, and, and uh, in all honesty, the intent was not to, uh, to hurt number of small students, because this is a, we made sure to provide you with a cash flow statement that you can all see. Uh, a charter vision, that transparent uh, uh, online portal, um, uh, will allow anyone to see the financial stuff. Just to give you a couple numbers, cash flow, projected cash flow, we built into the budget uh, at least a 5% reserve for year to year. So the projected cash flow at the end of year one, 2015, uh, with reserves is approximately $295,000. At the end of year three, uh, with reserves, we're projecting about $800,000. And at the end of year five, you know, with the charter term, uh, with reserves, we're projecting about $5,800,000. So our ongoing monitoring and partnering with the charter schools on this one is particular. We want to make sure we maintain a really strong cash balance and, and, and a positive cash flow. Okay, um, I have two parent questions I want to make sure we just get yeah. the staff. I, I just saw that recruitment computers was really low to the budgeting and they do everything on uh, rentals, repairs, that, um, I guess you said that. Um, 
I don't have a lot of questions at the moment. I just remember that there was a legal fee, I thought legal fees were something. I have to go back and look at it. Would you like me to address the technology question yeah. briefly? Mm -hmm. So I believe the budgets throughout, uh, from year one through year five, budgets approximately $400 mm -hmm. for technology per yeah. year, per student. Yeah. And uh, with the other resources and the instructional materials and all of the programs that the schools implement, we felt that that was a, a, a viable number to support that goal. Fundraising, you asked the question earlier, and just briefly, if I may, uh, $20,000 was the initial year. It increases, it's now a six-year, but increases to $40,000 moving forward. And we will continue to support uh, SPAR in terms of the, the further efforts for additional funds and grants. Did you feel, um, you know, there's a high risk of litigation, or especially in special ed. Do you feel that you're protected enough? Yeah, absolutely. The the uh, El Dorado County SELPA, to speak just real briefly, which uh, is another partner of the school. Um, the SELPA is established throughout the state uh, as multiple charter schools within, if, if you will, a broad and a school in Northern California, all the way to Southern California and San Diego. And with that, with that sharing of resources and money comes thorough professional development and consultation and guidelines and uh, assurance and support to make sure that all compliance items are being met. So not just financial compliance items and how special ed monies are used, but actually how to best meet the needs of all students and down to the detail of the IEP. I've had the opportunity to attend a number of El Dorado SELPA professional development sessions uh, recently and seeing the level of detail that they are able to provide to all of the participants to ensure that they are uh, complying and remain compliant. Uh, so I don't see any, any risk any different uh, from uh, a regular public school or non-charter in terms of liability. Part of the charter process uh, and part of what will happen in the SELPA would be uh, an assurance to all parents and families that the due process rights are met to the field. So it's similar to a public school if any uh, prospective family or student were not satisfied with any services that they were uh, that they were being provided, they would have uh, a right to appeal and El Dorado SELPA would support the charter school in this. No question, just for information purposes, that's all. I should know. I probably should know this, but I don't. I mean, this is a the board. Um, and that is, in terms of inclusion, um, what are your plans? What are your plans in terms of to include, if we could, uh, uh, opportunity youth or perhaps youth that who are involved in juvenile court schools? Or uh, what, what are you going to do about that? Do you have any? And this is since you're proposing a charter by county. Do you have any plans to do something with this number to be able to? Um, I'm not sure how exactly follow the question is about. Um, are you talking about collaboration or, or outreach to, to those specific yes. populations? Yes, sir. What are, what are your plans? I, I think that's critical. I said this. I know it's incumbent upon this board to ensure that all students are not within the purview of our responsibility are involved as much as possible. And, and I, I don't disagree with that at all. Um, ultimately, the, the schools coming up will, will serve the students that apply to the schools coming up. Now, in terms of outreach and trying to attract a diverse um, student body, um, we have a, an outreach plan in the document itself that covers variety of different um, populations, demographics, and areas throughout Contra Costa County, um, and, and we'll be very diligent about that process in terms of making sure that um, the application will be properly evaluated first. I mean, this is a standard reason that, uh, that in terms of outreach, I mean, if there's any way possible to have foster children, anyone of that nature, any, uh, we need to have that demographic involved and included. Sure. When you come back, I'd yeah, like to see something more in terms of concrete, in terms of your plans or for outreach yeah, to people that population. Is that fair? <coughs> I, I'll absolutely uh, reflect on that and, and, I, and okay. follow up. Equity, equity and inclusion is everything. Uh, I don't. Okay. I absolutely disregard. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, uh, Ms. Mitchell.